What is up guys? It's Ash here. Magmar won an online tournament back in Limitless. Uh, this is a team that's built by Sena. Who is the one who got 7-2 at 0 record. There is a Tommy Tuesday practice tour. So it's not the Tommy Tuesday that has like 700 players I think. It's not that team. But he, he or she, I don't know. Built this team with Magmar in mind. So Magmar, which for the rest of the field might look uh, unimpressive, but it's actually a great support for this team. Magmar has Flame Body and an EV Light because it evolves into Magmortar, and it has Flare Blitz, Smack Punch, Taunt, and of course, Follow Me. So the gist of it is that you follow me, for example, an opposing Urshifu, then you get like two or three chances that the, ma the opposing Mon would get burned by the Flame Body. So any contact move will do. So that's the beauty of Magmar. And considering that it has a Light, it could be incredibly bulky that it could survive. Then the rest of the team is composed of of course, the new Mon, the new Paradox, Raging Bolt, with Protosynthesis, Life Form, Thunderbolt, my new favorite move, Thunderclap, although it does not beat Lando Eye, Dragometer, and Protect. It has Terra Electric to boost Thunderbolt and Thunderclap more. And uh, Eliminate the Dragon. Uh, Dragon's Weakness to Fairy. Of course, we have Flutter Main with Protosynthesis, Booster Energy, Stellar Type, Moonlash, Shadow Ball, Dazzle Gate, and Protect. I have not been uh, getting a lot of uh, hype when it comes to the stellar typing, but with this, with Flutter May and Urshifu, this Urshifu of course still also has Terra type, Terra, Terra Stellar with Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch Detect, Focus Session, and Synth Feast. Uh, it basically allows her bone to get boosted on all its move like once per move. And while it does not eliminate weakness, a stellar typing is actually, when you consider it, it's not great as a defensive Terra. That's all we can understand about it, but it's great as an offensive Terra because sometimes you run moves that aren't, are not your typing. So having Terra Stellar will actually boost all those attack ones. So all of these moves would actually get boosted still so for example Flutter Main with Terra Fairy would not get the adaptability boost that at the Terra, the Terra Fairy will have on, a sh on, on its Shadow Ball but since it's Terra Stellar it would get Shadow Ball's uh, boost but with the gist of having it only once so that's like a balance there's like a balance between it I think if it is unlimited it might have been overpowered much but yeah I appreciate Stellar though, I'm not really that impressed right now. <laughs> and also we have Landorus with Terra Ghost, yeah. Intimidate Choice Scarf, Stopping Theater of Rock Slide, Rock Tomb, and u -turn. Rock Tomb is an inter interesting move, uh, mainly prevent switching switching ins. If you get, you can drop someone, I guess. Is it Rock Tomb or, I, I forgot, <laughs> but I, I mean Rock Tomb reduces speed, I think. Of course, you have Sweet Kune with Inner Focus, Citrus Berry, Skull, Snarl, Tail with an Roar. This is a supportive Sweet Kune with Terra Dark to prevent taunts, then Snarling, Scalding, and Going Tail with an even Roar to force switch out of a bottom. And so you don't like the mons that are in the field. Uh, a fairly stand. Uh, well, when you see Magmar, you can say standard, but it's a fairly standard team when it comes to composition. Uh, with the new mons, actually, we have one, two, three, three mons from the recent regulation F, and I'm excited to see where this goes. So let's friggin' go. It's a sun room team. You need to be careful about. Yep. Magmar is with Kyun. 
Where's Snarl? Does it have Raging Bolt? And Urshifu because it has Sash. I'm eating, guys. This is good. Just follow me. I'm snarl. Don't just after you with follow me users. Oh, that still hurts. You just snarl you and you'll be useless. Will it work a second time though? That's exactly what I've been I've been doing. Now we could do this. Stellar Wicked Blow? That's only right. Then another Snarl. I'm eating a French stuff. Sorry about the noise there. How many turns do we have left? On the sun. One. We do this. And uh Roar the Liligan.
Okay. It's a good thing. Snarl again. <laughs> that dampens their plan so friggin' much. I mean, Sucker Punch could be good. I don't want to be a wicked blow. The Torque Old Slot. And snarl. Okay. <laughs> they're forcing it. They, they're really forcing it. But if they're Lilligant dies, then it's all, all all for nothing. Yeah. This is exactly what's happening. Now I can snarl again. Because I'm significantly slower. I'm significantly faster. Uh, Magmar has done its job extremely well right now. Good detect here and another snarl. Yeah. It, it will be a cycle, you know? Uh, snarl, detect snarl, we could blow something. Magmar clutched. Where she was weak, you and Flutter Magmar, I didn't record it. What the heck is wrong with me, bro? Okay, so it will be born. I mean, I could, technically, go Wicked Blow plus, like, Snarl, or Tailwind, just because, so I do have the Sash. Uh... Let's see this. Do I need the Stellar? Kinda need. Stellar here. Let's hope it works. It's a gamble. But I mean, Landorus, I. It's not as bulky as you think it may be. That a Stellar could actually do it. Okay, we could. Still the same. They'll go for Tailwind. They'll go for Wicked Blow. And it hits. Uh, now we're kind of fast in a way. This Urshifu is at the map. 149. Oh no 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 no! Don't freaking run, bro. I could wicked blow here and just or I could detect and magmar. That's that is cool too. Put the deck and switch into Magmar. Because now all his grassy glides would be redirected to Magmar. Can we get can we catch a burn? No? Alright.
does have Sash. Uh, could the Wicked blow the Thorn? What's, what's the possible switch that's in here? Could the Wicked blow the Rillaboom? Uh, do we, are we really scared of the Rillaboom right now? Of, yeah. We have Sweeken at the back. We kinda need... If we get like a burn, be good. Why the rain dance though? Why the rain dance though? I don't understand the reasoning behind that. Okay. Nice. Now we're talking. Uh, follow me again. Anmar's doing excellent work right now. Really, really excellent. Alright. Where's your full wicked blow storm? The blink wind is on range. Okay. Suikyun could now get Tailwind up again. As we stall out the terrain, which is two turns left, I could detect here and Tailwind. Then I could subsequently roar the next turn. Oh, shoot. That's sad. I mean, gotta get boosted anyway, so... Er. I'm not afraid of the Rillaboom now because of the burn. We have Flutter Man is speed boosting, I think. Yeah. Please don't get a speed drop. switch look how much damage that was it's like a sliver over upon the water okay That's actually nice. Uh, they haven't there yet, so I'm assuming that they're gonna. What? Well. 
Now we have Ogre Pond to deal with. Ooh, that's... That's now or never. Do still have the boost. Ah, uh, but just just to be sure. Yeah, just to be sure. I'm gonna tail away. <laughs> I'm not comfortable enough with the speed interactions of Ogre Pod. Ah, oh, dude, that's crappy. Scrappy. Oh no. Oh no. Spiky shield is nice. Unfortunately. Uh, I, I'm saved, thanks. Uh, I'm saved, bro. Now, it's just a matter of soccer punch now. Thank God for that. That was a mistake on their part, and I'll gladly take it. Oh, yeah. Stellar Urshifu Rock. Charizard Yan Mega. Skeledurge. Empoleon. Electrifier. But they're scared. They're scared of Paging Bolt with the Steam. I mean, Torshifu and Sweet Guild seems to be cool right now. Is there a lot of special attackers here? And Flutter. Yes, Raging Bolt. I'm gonna use Raging Bolt once. and their trash ass music. Okay. I could deal with the Yan Mega immediately. Because I hate like Yan, Yan Mega. <laughs> no, no, they're going for something like evasiveness stuff. And I hate those kind of games. And sure. I have Sash. Can I get the burn on the val on the Gallade? Can I get the burn? Agility. Oh, like baton pass stuff.
That's like pretty cool, by the way. Ooh, they're going for Empo. My neighbor's music is so loud. Not even good. It's like <laughs> Sash bro. Close combat. Hit it. Nice. And I'm gonna roar the guy. Agility is good now, bro. <laughs> what? What is he trying to accomplish in right? It's wicked blow and scroll. Yeah, I'm gonna tailwind. Just to be safe. Just to be safe, I'm gonna tailwind. I'm gonna Terra. Oh, we might still lose this one, by the way. Stellar Charger. I mean, sure. I just thunderclap you. That yeah, hurts. Bro, that hurts. Come on. Doesn't have wide guard. I'm thinking of going Shadow Ball first, KOing the Glade, and then Snarl. Because now. Fuck, it's stupid. <laughs> Would it have worked? Stellar Charizard. That's actually interesting. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, Magmar is actually good. It's not as bulky as I hope it would be, but the fact that it could survive a lot of attacks coming from Rillaboom and like Tornadoes, well, I have to give the case that it's not strongest of mons, but it being able to redirect so that Urshifu could deal damage is so much crucial to like the game 2 I think and the game 1 also uh, they didn't actually use other moves except follow me but the map punch is a cool tech and flare builds of course with the fire types again overall magmar is scarily good at this team uh, raging bolt of course didn't get to use raging bolt uh, that's because where we face like Lando Eye and then Motor Drive Electivire. I did have Raging Ball at the back in game 3, but didn't exactly have to bring it right there. Uh, Fluttermane, of course. Fluttermane now has Stellar. The Stellar type is interesting with Fluttermane, but I would have very much preferred the Terra Fairy variant, if I'm being honest. Uh, Urshifu. Well, I think Urshifu. The single strike in particular could benefit a lot from the style not all offensive bonds yeah again defensive defensively stellar has no use uh it it's 
it is more used offensively but not all offensive bonds makes use of the stellar typing for example flutter main deals damage with this terra fairy moon blast or terra fairy dazzling gleams but it doesn't really matter because uh it has its uh what they call this it has the strong special attack immediately so it can deal damage and it, it can't be intimidated so there's you, you can't intimidate special attack so there's a thing but on physical attackers with a diverse moveset like Urshifu for example or for example or like Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Soccer Punch, uh, Poison Jab you can also you can use uh, Stellar Typing to actually provide a lot of versatility with your team although it's once uh, as long as you KO the Pokemon it's fine uh, Landorus 4 still standard, not really able to use it, but it's still fine. Uh, I'm gonna give the MVP for this feature to Suikyun. Suikyun with the Skull, the Snarls. Actually, Suikyun won game 1 by just snarling everything. Uh, game 2, Tailwinding. Game 3, Roaring the Galate back. Uh, Suikyun with its bulk and it cannot flinch. Uh, has, a lot of pri has a lot of things going on with it. And exactly what we want on a bulky tail with center. So that's it. I'm gonna put the Twitter of the original creator and James Beck's feature because I did get the base on his page. I didn't know if Senna released the base. I don't know. Anyway, this could probably be the second to the last video for VGC on 2023. So maybe tomorrow I would get some, maybe not. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today thank you and see you on the next one bye